second graders, Miss Diorio, back from Citizenship Academy with um, Riley, the sleepy puppy here. And we are getting into Module 4, Lesson 3 today. So today we're going to practice, we're going to build off what we did yesterday in adding and subtracting multiples of 10. So adding and subtracting 10s, but we're going to add in some 1s to that today too. Don't worry, you got this. So for today, just grab a piece of paper and pencil. We're going to work through it all on paper and pencil today. All right? So pause the video, grab those things, and here. All right, first thing we're going to do is practicing, practice adding and subtracting multiples of 10. Now, we did this a little bit yesterday, so I kind of want to give you some strategies for it. So what you want to do is break it down into the tens. You want to know how many tens are in a number. So if we say two tens less and six tens. My brain is going, okay, so we're at six tens. We got to go down two tens. So six, five, four. So that's four tens, which is 40. Another way to think of it is by counting up from two to six. You can think of it that way. Try not to think of it as the big numbers, but think of it as groups of 10. So two tens less than six tens. Instead of saying 20 less than 60, we're saying two tens less than six tens. Okay. So we can again, from the subtracting the tens, we can turn it into a number sentence because we know two tens and six tens is 20 and 60, so we can say 60 minus 20 is 40. So when we do this, some of them are going to have ones. Don't worry about the ones place. Don't worry about how many ones they are. there are. We are just subtracting the tens. So say, this one says two tens less than six tens, eight ones. So what I'm going to do my marker would work, is show you what that looks like on a place value chart. Four, five, six. I'm drawing six tens, eight ones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so what I want to know, here's my six tens, eight ones, is two tens less than that. So all I'm going to do is take away the two tens. Did my ones place change at all? No, right? That stayed the same. So now how many tens do we have? Four tens still have eight ones. Very good. So our answer is four tens, eight ones. Our tens place is the only thing that's changing. Okay, so we can turn that into a number sentence. We can say 68 minus 20 equals 48. Okay, we're just turning what we have here into a number sentence. All right, try this next one on your own. We're going to do two tens, six ones, less than five tens, six ones. I'm going to do that on my board too. Start with the bigger number. Two tens, six ones, less than five tens, six ones. For this, so for this one, we're taking away some of the ones. So go ahead and pause the video, work that through, and then come back and I'll show you my thought process. Ready? So for this one, our one in, ones and our tens are changing. So. I'm, it says two tens less. So right here I have five tens, six ones. So I'm going to take away two tens. Easy, right? Because we know, so we had five, we take away two, we get three. All right, so there's three tens left. Now we're also taking away six ones. I have six ones here, so all of these six ones are going away. So what am I left with? Just three tens, right? And we get 30. Awesome, let's do one more. Try this one on your own, and then we'll go over it. Four tens less than seven tens, three ones. So this one, you're only taking the tens away. Three, four, five, six, seven, three ones. All right, so work through it on your own, and then I'll go over it. So starting with the bigger number, I have four tens, sorry, seven tens, three ones. So it says four tens less. So I'm going to take away one, two, three, four tens. Another way to think of this is seven minus four. And we end up with three tens and three ones. We didn't touch our ones. They didn't tell us to take any ones away, so we keep our ones the same. We end up with three tens, three, three ones, which is what number? 33. Awesome. All right, we're going to skip over these because I want to get into our application problem. So... Make sure you have paper and pencil for this one. Let's get into it. It says, Terrell put 19 stamps in his book on Monday. On Tuesday, he put 32 stamps. 
how many stamps did Terrell put in his book on Monday and Tuesday? We're going to talk about this before we solve. I want you to pause the video and talk with someone about what it's asking you and how you can solve. Don't solve it yet. Just pause, turn, and talk. Good. Okay. So he wants to know how many stamps he put in his book on Monday and Tuesday. How many stamps did he put in his book on Monday? 19. Awesome. And how many did he put on Tuesday? 32. Very good. So what are you going to do with those two numbers? Add them together. So your number sentence is going to be 19 plus 32. Now when you solve this, think about the strategies we learned yesterday. Try doing the arrow way or try solving with a number bond. Pick whatever way made more sense to you. Pause and solve now and then I'll go over both ways with you. Ready? Okay. So we're going to solve with the arrow. Actually, we're going to do both at the same time. 19, we can break apart into 9 and 10. So to make it easier for ourselves, we can add 10 plus 32. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What do we get? 42. Good. Add in those extra 9, we get 51. The other way to think about it is to break it down in the arrow way. Now, when they did the arrow way, they just off the bat added 30. You could have done, started at 19, and then added 10, and then added 10, and then added 10. You could have broke it down. We still got to that 49, and then we still have to add two more to get to 32. So we added 10, 20, 32 to our 19. Still got the same answer. They just I just broke it down a little bit more for you. So either way, solving it, we get the same answer. All right. Now, he's at whoop, how many stamps? 51 stamps. He wants to fill his book. His book holds 90 stamps. How many more stamps does he need? Pause. Solve. Go. Ready? Okay, so we can solve it. We don't know. He's at 51. We don't know how many he needs to get to 90. So we can do it the arrow way. We want to get the 51 to 9, so we can add 51 plus 9 to get to 60. And then we know three more tens or 30 will get us to 90. So we're going to do 30 plus 9 gets us to 39 more stamps. Tricky. Awesome job. All right. Here we go into our concept development for today. What is 40 plus 20? Oh, sorry. 60. Awesome. What's 48 plus 20? Do you remember, use what you know to solve for what you don't. It's going to be 68. Awesome, because we're just adding that 20 on. We're just adding those two tens on. Changing the ones stay the same. Okay. Now, this is where it gets tricky but also really cool. Do you know what 48 plus 19 is off the top of your head? That one's a little bit harder to add, right? So what you can do is use the facts you know to solve for the facts you don't. We can solve 48 plus 21 and 48 plus 19 by using 48 plus 20 to help us. I'm going to write these out for you. 48 plus 20 48 plus 19, 48 plus 21. What do you notice about these numbers? Very good. They are all, whoop, this one is minus whoop, one less than 20. This one is one more than 20. So we can use this answer to help us solve these two. So is from 20 to 21, one more or one less? One more. Very good. So, is from 20 to 19, one more or one less? One less. Very good. Okay. So, we can use this information and knowing that this is one more and this is one less to solve. So, we know that 48 plus 20 is 68. We got that. Now, to get to 21, we just got to add one more. We know that 48 plus 20 is 68. Then we can add that one more from the 21 to get to 69. Done. 
easy peasy. Because we know the answer to this one, so we can use it, because we know that this problem is going to be one more. We can use it to solve for this one. Same thing going this way. So we know that this is one less, so we're just going to take one less away from what we know and get 67. We know this, and we know that this is one less, so we're just going to solve it and get to 67. Take one away. Easy peasy. All right? I want you to write this one on your board. What is 36 plus 50? Pause the video. Write that one down. Got it? Should have got 86. Now, we're going to use this problem to solve for new problems, using what we know to solve for what we don't, okay? So now we're gonna do 36 plus 51. Your first step is to think about whether this is one more or one less. Is it one more or one less than this one? Very good, one more. So are we gonna add one or take away one? Add one. So go ahead and write down your answer. What do you think it is? Using what you know. Yeah, you should have got 87. Awesome work. That's a tricky problem to solve. All right, now try this one. 36 plus 49. Is that one more or one less than our first problem? One less. Good. So you're just going to take one away. And what do you get? 85. Very good. All right, we're going to skip this one because I want to get into our subtraction. So subtraction works the same way, but I sometimes get confused with this, okay? When you're thinking about one more, one less, it can get a little tricky. So we're going to start off by solving 68 take away 20. So 68 minus 20. Take away two tens from 68. Go ahead and pause and solve that. Good. We should get 48. Now, we can use what we know to solve for what we don't. So we're going to do 68 minus 21. Don't, this is where I get confused because this minus tricks me up, okay? Even though this is one more, we're taking more away from the 68, okay? So think of it that way. Even though this number is one more, we are not adding one. We're taking more away. So when we go this way with subtraction, this way is going to be minus 1, and this way is going to be plus 1, opposite of addition. Okay, so if your number is higher, you're going to take one away. It's very confusing. I know, I get tripped up. But when this number is bigger, if the number is bigger, you're taking more away, so you're going to subtract. Okay, so you're going to subtract 1. So this one is going to be 1 less, and that's 47. And then the other way, which is 19 up here, 68 minus 19, you're taking less away, so you're going to add 1. Totally backwards of the way addition works, but that's just the way that's subtraction for you. We're taking away. All right? So when we solve for these, when you get to these ones, make sure... If it's more, you're going to take one away. If it's less, you're going to add one. Super confusing, but you got it. So 57 minus 30, we get 27. Now, 31 is more than 30, so we're going to take one away. So we're going to start at 27. We're going to take one away because we're taking more away. So we get to 26. Now, 29 is less than 30. We're taking less away, so we're going to add one in. And we're going to get 28, okay? Practices, I know it's tricky. If you kind of practice a bunch of them, get your brain around it, it won't be as hard. I promise it'll make sense to you. So for your exit ticket today, you have four problems, two addition, two subtraction. Focus on these. When you do these, think about the number that is easier to add or subtract. So for example, 82 minus 51, I want you to solve... 82 minus 50 first, and then solve 82 minus 51. Now, 51 is more, so you're going to do a minus one there. But solve the easier fact first. Okay? 
Let me know if you have any questions. I know it's tricky and confusing. We're going to keep practicing. Otherwise, great job today. Do your best, and I will see you tomorrow.